All right, so a lot of people you'll see come to training or walking their dog. Some will just have a pouch, which is really only good for dog treats. Some people will have a belt where you can put a few more things on. And I even see uh, some people with a vest. But this is a shoulder sling bag that I'm very fond of. And this is the one my everyday carry when it comes to, uh, you know, working with the dog. Okay, so this is a Maxpedition. This is a small bag. And uh, this one, I believe, was uh, was $139. Uh, let me give him something so he can stop crying. There's a little ticket frisbee. Uh, so starting from the outside, this pouch right here, this little pocket, side pocket right here, I keep my bear spray because I live in a... Uh, Berks County, Pennsylvania. That would be the land where America begins, and we have a lot of bears out here. Now, if I wasn't concerned about bears, then I would just take the water, and I, the water would fit nicely in there, too. It would, it would fit all the way down. Can't right now, because I have the this holder for the bear spray. But that would be a nice place for the uh, your half liter water, okay? So, so let's stay on the outside, uh, right up here on the top. Got to get close so you can see this. On the top, I keep the control for the e-collar, right? This little remote control for the e-collar. Fits very nicely in there. And when it comes to bags and stuff, uh, here's a, it's very important to have, uh, Zulu, get down. It's very important to have uh, good zippers, right? And that's one thing about Maxpedition. They're known for quality. And you're not going to have a problem, you know, with the uh, zippers. And this bag I got in uh, 2019, it's, uh, you know, still going strong. In this little pouch right here, you know, I'll keep some dog treats. Uh, even though, I mean, he's really not too responsive to treats anymore. He's much more responsive to toys. So that treat has been in there for a while. Now going in the outside pocket right here, we have dog brush. And inside right here... This would normally be where I would keep my cell phone, but obviously I'm using that to film right now. So the cell phone would fit nicely right in there. And you see that little netted part, stick it right in there. Perfect, okay. Coming to the outside of the bag, you have another pocket over here, a side pocket. And this is where I would normally keep two of his balls, okay. So one, and then the second one on top, you know, fits nicely also. Okay, then we come to the uh, the main compartment where I have a uh, half liter water. This would be for me while we're out here working because the dog drinks from the rivers and the creeks. Okay, get a shot in there. So inside here we have a dog toy and Kong. Okay, and again the water, you know, fits right in there also. And then in the back, come here, get this. In the back, you have another spot, okay, where this is where I usually would keep his uh, frisbee, right? And I have a uh, short axe. Actually, it's a tomahawk because um, living in an area with a lot of irresponsible pit bull owners. All right. So that's it. That's the Max Uh This would be the only flaw in the bag. This shoulder strap right here, it doesn't have a lot of cushion on it. So it's not an issue unless we go on a long hike. When we go on these long hikes, you know, like for over an hour, and this thing is so, usually I'll have, let's say, two uh, two water bottles in here, along with all the other stuff, uh, you know, then it becomes an issue, and it starts to, uh, you know, you feel it in the shoulder. So, I mean, that's, again, an hour or less, you know, this is perfect. But other than that, yeah, it's a great bag, and uh, I recommend it.